day to all the viewers out there. This is your favorite channel, Learner's Deck. Today we are going to discuss a very important function within Microsoft Excel. You must have seen this screen before as well because the table that I have listed here, you can relate this table to many of the data which you have already seen. Let me explain the table to all of you so that you can get the feel out of it. The first table, uh, the first column in this table actually has the name. So, for example, if you own a company or if you're talking about your own project team or maybe if you work for a company, this can be treated as the employee name or the name of the employees within a certain department. Now, the department or the domain is listed in column B. For example, medical supplies, stationery, toys, etc. Total units are listed in column C followed by the total sold units. So C and D will tell us the total inventory and the inventory which was actually sold. These values are followed by the sale date in column E. And I just used the months here and I'll show you what you can actually extract out of these. Column F and G has the unit price and the actual price respectively. Now. You can definitely relate this table and what do we expect out of this data? Normally, uh, what we do is we calculate the total sale, we find out the total cost and now is the time to calculate the profit. So we'll use the same method first and then we'll see uh, what is the advance or the digital change that we can make into it. So the total sale will be equal to the number of units sold multiply by unit price. What we can do is uh, we can either drag it down like this or uh, the second method we'll be using in total cost. That is total cost will be sold units multiplied by the actual cost. Now if you don't want to drag and drop what you can do is control C and use the shortcut which is alter E S this will bring up the space to spatial dialog box and you can just select the formulas here and this formula will be pasted on all these cells select these cells and repeat the same process now you can see this uh, formula is available in all these cells. perfect now uh, by using these two columns, that is H and I, that is call total sale and total cost, what we can actually extract is profit. So what I'll do is I'll use H minus I. Total sale minus total cost. And this will give me the profit in each category. And in order to uh, know the complete profit, what we can do is we can select all these cells and here is the complete process uh, profit that is 72440. The other method could be that we can use the sum formula. This is what we usually do. Now, what are we learning today? We are trying to find out a better, quick and easier solution to such tables that we see in our routine work. So I have uh, captioned all these tables as magic and there are certain parameters in each table. Let's start. The first table says that uh, we need to calculate the total sale. As you just saw that in order to calculate total sale, usually what we do is we first calculate sale of each uh, domain and then we can add it up. But by using the sum product formula, please uh, keep your eyes here in the formula bar by using this sum product formula what we can actually do is we know that we need to use two columns that is column d and the unit price that is column f and this will give us the complete sale or the total sale that we are looking for we'll hit enter and here is the total sale the total sale is one eight triple one double zero let us double check it i'll i've just uh, copied all these cells or I have selected these cells and you can see the total sale is one eight triple one double zero. Perfect. So uh, you just saw a perfect example of magic. 
दिस फॉर्मूला हैज चेंज आर वे ऑफ थिंकिंग टूवर्ड्स सच डेटा एंड इट इज सेव द टाइम एंड वॉट वी कैन डू एज वी कैन डू मैनी अदर फीचर एंड वी कैन यूज मैनी अदर फेसिलिटीज ऑफ दिस फॉर्मूला आई जस्ट शो यू इन अ मिनट सो नाउ फॉर टोटल कॉस्ट आई बिलीव नाउ इट्स क्लियर वील यूज द सेम फॉर्मूला अगेन दैट इज सम प्रोडक्ट फॉर टोटल कॉस्ट वील सेलेक्ट कॉलम डी मल्टीप्लाई बाय कॉलम जी You can either use the multiply sign or the comma sign. There is a bit difference. I'll just explain it to you in a while. It says that the total cost is one zero eight triple six zero. Let's double check it. It's perfect. One zero eight triple six zero. Perfect. Now, in order to calculate the profit, it becomes much more easier for me to calculate the profit, and the total profit is here in a blink of a second. Wonderful. so uh, see uh, these tools are all about saving time so all about accuracy and all about making our lives easier so why not use the best possible option now let's move to the next table that we have created here this is just uh, an example with single feature or single option now we have multiple option for example we are looking for how many toys were actually sold within april now you got my point i have listed down here the sale date in months you may have it in years and you might have data for maybe a decade so you can use this particular formula for sheets having uh, millions and trillions of data so i want to know the total sale in april only for twice what i can actually do if i'll go to the stereotype method i'll be confused and i'll be using two three columns and i'll be boggled but by using the sum product formula it becomes much more easier before using this formula let me explain a simple mathematic operation to you just focus here on these two arrows these two arrows says that in mathematics and is considered as multiplication and or is considered as addition perfect yes you remember that so if we are talking about two conditions and both of these should be true we are talking about and operator that is multiplication and if we are talking about two or more conditions and only one of them should be true then we are talking about a addition operation or maybe a plus sign so currently we are talking about an and operator because we need to know the total sales of toys within april so the very first thing is we need to uh, identify where these toys are listed these toys are listed in column b that is domain so we'll select the column b please focus here i'll hit is equals to then inverted commas and what you can do is you can write here toys or you can directly select the cell and the cell value will be selected these are the two different methods that you can use now i'll use the same method that is multiplication now uh, the second option or the second condition here is i need to know the sale for the month of april only perfect so what i'll do is i'll select this column e and the value which we are looking for is april perfect keep in mind that this formula is pretty tricky when it comes to closing and opening these brackets so we have used these brackets but the formula bracket is still not yet open i've just put in another bracket here now what we are looking for is we need to calculate the sale for sale we know that we we have already selected column d and column f let me select it again yes perfect so it says that some product and what some product these are the two conditions that we are talking about within column b and within column e and then we are looking for sale so we have selected column d and column f see what happens enter it says that uh, the total number of toys that were actually sold in april were 30000 let's see and double check if the answer is correct so april is here and april is here but for twice we have got only one april 
and the total sale is 30,000 perfect C uh, this formula can also be used as condition please note that we have used different brackets for different purposes so the only trick within this formula is using correct brackets at correct places now for total cost in March and for March in stationery can be calculated in a similar manner some product keep your eyes on the formula bar so that you don't miss anything now we are looking for stationery stationery is listed in column B is equals to now we'll use the other method that is we'll select the cell value bracket close multiply by we'll open another bracket the second condition is for March that is listed in column E so what we'll be do doing here is we'll select March let's select this and I've closed the bracket multiply by what we are looking for we are looking for total cost total cost means this multiply by column G perfect I am closing down this bracket but we also need to open here as well enter it says the total cost for stationery which was sold in March is actually 66 K 66,000 so let's see let's double check as well this is a stationery but it's in Feb this is a stationery it's in Jan and this is a stationery and it is in March let's see what is the total cost which is listed in column I it's 66 K 66,000 perfect now I can easily calculate profit if I want I can use the data for different analytics I can create charts tables whatever I want so I can present it in a PowerPoint presentation as well now uh, let's move to the, another table now you'll be surprised when you'll see how this formula works when we are talking about or operation there is a small trick you need to identify and follow this and the result will always be perfect so we are looking for sale in Jan or March now what you need to uh, understand here is that we are talking about Two values within the same column or you may talk about two values within different columns uh, doesn't matter but here the condition which we are talking about is or so any of the condition is true we need to see the result as positive so let's start uh, please focus here on the formula bar and I'll uh, do the trick here some product and what we are looking for we are looking for sale in Jan or March so we are talking about column E only I'll select column E and it is equal to Jan now instead of using a multiplication sign we'll be using an addition sign because we are talking about E uh, or so now again I'll select this column and the second condition is it says that it should either be from March see uh, we have listed down the two conditions here and uh, we have separated these conditions with a plus sign because the condition is for all that is either Jan or March now we'll use the multiplication sign and we are looking for total sale that is column D multiply by column F perfect I'll just close this and as we are closing this we need to open the bracket as well perfect let me hit enter and tell you why it won't work it says 266002 the value is actually not correct uh, let's check so let's see where do we have Jan and March here Jan March March Jan March March okay uh, so we are talking about sale so this is the sale for Jan first one now we have another sale for March then we'll move to another sale for March here it is now we are moving for another sale within Jan now let's move to another sale which is in March now the final value here is actually this one it says that the total sum is 826000 and our answer is 266002 confused 
Oh, don't be, because we have got a wonderful trick for you. We have used the formula in perfect syntax. As I told you, for all condition, we'll be using plus. So we have used plus, and the rest of the formula is also perfect. Then why it's not working? Because when we're using or within some product, we need to make sure that the or condition is also enclosed within a separate bracket. I'll repeat, when we are using some product for the or, we need to ensure that the or condition is enclosed within a separate bracket. I'll hit enter. Now the result is perfect. It says 826000. See, so when we when we will using or we need to make sure that the brackets are perfectly used just focus on this part of the video when you're dealing with or operation perfect now it looks simple to all of you isn't it let's let me show you another factor or another feature that this particular function can actually produce you must be amazed that this is a single function before today we all must have used as a sum product and according to the definition this formula means that it will yield the product of if uh, different sums but today we are going to see some magic out of this formula the final feature or another feature I should call it that it can be used via some product formula is the count option. So for example, I need to count how many stationary are listed here in this list. So I, what I'll do is I'll use the sum product here. I'll select this column is equals to and what we are looking for we are looking for stationary I'll just close the bracket and let's see what happens it says that nothing is listed here but B3 has a stationary and the stationary is available here so why it is not giving us results let's see let's use another bracket and see if it gives us result the result is still zero because it's not counting in this particular condition what we are doing wrong yes you have guessed this right because Excel understands this formula as a truth table a boolean operation so we need to convert these operations into some logical gates so let's start uh, there are several methods of doing this but this is a common method that people do use by putting a double hash or double dash sign and this means that you can easily see that now the value is 3 let's count 1 2 3 perfect so now this function has also worked as a count function but just a, with a little bit trick which is we need to convert this particular boolean operation into an understandable language so this is how you can use it now let's uh, use it once again so that it's clear to all of you is equals to sum product now we need to calculate the total number of stationary within this table and we need to calculate the total number of maybe toys within this table so let's select it again is equals to and select twice just hit enter close another bracket open the first bracket enter again zero yes we'll be adding an operator here that is double dash enter so it says that there is nothing listed as stationary and twice so in order to rectify this what we can actually do is we can put here an is equals to sign enter now it says that there are five values that is one two three four five so these are the five values they are either stationary or twice perfect so this is a what a sum product can actually do for us these are the different examples that we think uh, are pretty usual to all of us so we have explained these please do use it uh, in your routine worksheets and please let us know how it helped you ease your daily 
problems and was it effective or not uh, please do provide us with your comments as and do make sure that you have subscribed to our youtube channel which is learner stay tuned for more interesting videos thanks for watching this one